Good evening, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's not quite evening, it's after, late afternoon. Yeah. As we just start here in notification of a storm watch, I guess, and yep. in the surrounding area. So hopefully we have internet throughout the, and I may have to leave. I don't know. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll see uh, what kind of weather we're going to get here. Yeah, right now it's sunny. Yeah, but we can see there's uh, very blue clouds coming. So yeah. we'll see what uh, transpires here. Hopefully our internet will stay on. Mm hmm we'll be able to finish the sale. So how is everybody? Enjoying a Saturday day. Is the weather good, bad? It's been quite a scorcher here this past week. Which is early for here. Um, yeah. I had my notes that there was still some frozen lions, I guess. Last year at Last this time? Last year at this time. Yeah. Yesterday. Really? Yeah. Wow. So it's been a different year, but that's, which is good. We don't mind the nicer weather. I'm sure not, but yeah. it, we, we have a lot of dry weather. Now we had some, had some rain a couple, about a week and a half ago. I yeah, guess. we did finally have some rain. But it's still kind of dry. Yes. We need some rain, but not a storm. That's right. <laughs> Want my garden to grow now and my flowers to bloom. Yeah. Well. You've got quite a an assortment of items here, it looks like. Yes. Got all kinds of stuff today. We've got critters and crystal. Um, Salt and pepper, a couple. Yep. All kinds of stuff. Ceramics. Is that some of this some Mexican pottery? Yeah, that's that little uh, Mexican bird that you found. Oh, right. Yeah. Some Watson House stuff, I see. Yes. We are going to have to um, get sourcing because we are running low on inventory. <laughs> <laughs> or we're going to have to buy another estate home. This would be really fun. Hey, Kat. Thanks for coming. How Hi, are you? It looks like the house that we can have our eyes on is gone. Well, I've seen that this morning, but it was out of our, it was a lot of retro stuff in there but yeah but it uh i think there's other folks catching on and they they might be doing the same thing i don't know yeah i think they're getting snatched up yeah um so i think we'll just get started here we usually end our sales with uh showing what didn't sell so that's yeah so we'll people do that check again. in later coming in from other sales yeah Oh, she's Kat's been You've sourcing. You've been all day. sourcing all day, lucky girl. Estate sales or garage sales or where were you? I would like to be able to go to estate sales. I know I've had this Ooh, discussion yeah. with you before, Kat. We don't have estate sales like you do, but uh, no, we haven't been able to get out either. No, it's just been too busy. Yes. Like even when our town last weekend had their estate sales, I estate went back sales. to the cat house. Ooh, nice. More kitty stuff. Did you find? No, I wish you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Even last weekend when we were having our garage sale, like the town wide garage sale, of course we were taking care of ours. So we mm -hmm. couldn't go out and look what everybody else had, but. Uh, we'll get there. Yes, lots of kitties. Oh, nice. My dad stopped in. He called from an, a garage sale and he found a 53, what's it called? Family. Family Circle Family magazine, Circle I magazine. Think. It's kind of cool. And so cool. Tins, yeah. yeah. Um, his mom and dad are sourcing for us. <laughs> 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 I think they might like this. Yes, please pick it up. Kat says, I wish you could have gone with. Oh, yeah, I wish to. Is the cat house the one with the really steep staircase, or was that another one that you were at? She was saying there was an estate sale that was such a steep staircase that uh, the lady who was um, doing the estate sale on on the, the top floor had recommended that the people go down on their bums. 
like scooch oh, down. Wow. <laughs> yes, and Rick took video. Ooh. And she just got the notification. Okay. That that I was live. We just went live. Yeah. Yeah. We're just starting. Yeah. We'll see um, with the storm forecast. It's getting pretty dark in the north. It looks like the storm could roll through. See, if we lose power, that's what happens. If yeah. We, we lose you, but we'll that's start it. anyway, and we'll just go with it and see what transpires. Uh, it was the the cat house is the one with the steep staircase. <laughs> oh, funny. Okay. Hi, Sue. Hi, Sue. How are you? Hey, that rhymed. Um, okay, so we'll just uh, kind of recap what we, how we do our sales. Some Canadian dollars. Mm -hmm. Shipping isn't Canadian. Uh, yeah, I use Canada Post to ship. I've started to ship every two weeks. So there is a few people whose orders I have held back from last week. Um, saying that they they may purchase this week, so it's kind of I'm kind of going to be invoicing and shipping every week now, um, as um, but your orders will be held for every two weeks unless you want me to ship sooner. I want to be able to uh, save you guys on shipping, so that's uh, the way I think it's going to work out best to save everybody on shipping instead of doing free shipping for one person uh, at each sale. So we're not we're no longer doing the free shipping. Um, draw in the sales. We're going to be shipping every two weeks. Save everybody money. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So often I can get more into the box and you would pay the same amount of shipping. So I thought this would be the fairest way to go about that. Um, what else? Anything else we want to say? That's a rule. Okay. If there's something that we're showing, that you are afraid you might not get, just type offer up in the chat and we can do an offer. Other than that, everything has a set price. And to claim the item, you type the item number uh, to uh, the first in the chat that we see and you will be able to buy the product. Yeah, we've had some other that say they like the item or, or such, but it has to be the number to get the item. Yes. The first number we see along the chat. All right. Here are the cards. They are not mixed up. Okay. Um, these here are for all of these little guys. So you're doing them all in one? Uh, no, they're separate, but I think when we start them, we'll do them all. Okay. Yeah. So just pick a randomly out of here. You betcha. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> That's an interesting. We're starting with a shoe brush. Okay. This is a really cool item. This was in a box of uh, shoe polish items. And yeah. The age has got to be early 1900s. There is. It's stamped. The wood is Keystone stamped. Keystone brand, number 230, made in, where is that from? Oh, I think it might just say Canada. Or maybe. Made in Canada, maybe. Maybe made in Canada. It's so cool. It is really cool i don't know what the top versus the bottom maybe i guess the tight spots maybe yeah and this could be, be the sides of the shoe but really cool yeah it's a cool brush. old brush um and, and there's a few shoe polishing items in today's sale um this brush is six dollars and it is number 28 Sue would like that. Thanks, Sue. Sue. Thank you. Yeah, it's a really cool brush, that one. That's, yeah. That could be displayed on any man cave or china cabinet, anything. It just, would, it just looks really Did you cool. see the picture I put on Instagram? Of, um, did I? Yeah. I'm not sure I did, actually. Today? Okay. Um, I put it on there today yeah, I, this morning. Yeah. Okay, today I haven't uh, looked at all. Busy, yeah. I was helping the kids today. Her husband will love it. Perfect. Suicide. Cool. Yes, today the kids asked for some help um, before the baby comes. So went to do some helping with some painting and sanding and whatnot. Yes. Yeah. 
Next up is a brown pottery tray and cover. Yeah, that one at the back there. This one? Yeah. This is kind of like a, uh, what do you call those? A fairy lamp? Yeah, some, um, I've had this on the sale before. Okay. It didn't sell. Some people were calling it a garlic keeper. Now, I have no idea. I I bought it thinking it was a candle holder. And it totally could be a candle holder. Yeah. You could put a, a votive in there and it's, it would shine probably somewhat on the wall different and through the holes. But yeah. a garlic keeper, I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, there is, it looks like, uh, is it called not redware? Just reminds me of some of the pottery you've had on here before. The bottom yeah, is rough. It is terracotta color. And it is initialed on the bottom. It doesn't look like it looks like it's been purchased, not GF girlfriend. Girlfriend. <laughs> uh, uh, so this one is five dollars and it's number twenty-nine. It's a really nice pottery. Did we try and put a lantern or a mm -hmm. over this one? Not this one? No. Okay. Just wondering how it would shine on the wall. It's got some good weight to it. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of those, uh, one of the YouTube videos we're watching. I'm not sure what country it's in, but they made these really cool, um, just out of the dirt, they dig down into the dirt. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Eli's been watching those. Mm -hmm. They're really talented they just with a couple of hand tools they dig seats in there and they make a Sometimes spot they're... to sit in the water and for the water to run in yeah they slide. make pools in there it's pretty that just for some reason reminds me of it hmm. i guess because they have tea lights or around the side <laughs> glass flower frog i know what they look like but i oh there it is yeah you got it so this is a little guy i think it's probably about three and a half inches round and it does have a little bit of a flaw on the top. I'm thinking that's just from the- It's not the, chipped. No, it's, it's not chipped. It's just like a an area that didn't get covered in glass when it was pressed. It's right, can you even make it out there? Yeah. It's right there. Um, it doesn't affect the way it works or anything. It's just um, a spot that is. didn't get glass. And- uh, That's the bottom. This one is $5. It does not glow. It's $5 and it's number 37. Just clear glass. Yeah. Nice domed one. Next up, we have a glass cream and sugar with tray. Oh, yeah, this is pretty. So where do you find that? This is not from the Watson house. No, this is... Uh, from a thrift store find. Hmm. This reminds me of so your cool. uh, what you may call it. Your Pyrex. Oh yeah, with the tray. It. Yeah. Look at this. Wendy Melton. Hi, Wendy. Hello. She, oh, you want the flower frog? All right. We can I'll, set that aside. I'll, I'll, I'll hold this that. up. Yep. Thank you. So it's a different shape to it. It's it's not bent. It's, it's meant to be that way. Because these are diamond shaped cream and sugar. And it's so neat because you can, they, they've got the little cutouts here. So you can put the creamer on either side and the handle will just oh, go in. That's where the handle goes. Yeah. And I love it that it's, um, it's flat glass here. It's not open, if you can, you know what I mean? It's just so easy to hold. They're so cool. And, Even uh, the design is diamond. Yeah. I don't know if it's diamond point, but it's really cool. This is a nice set. It's got a little footed, footed silver tray. That one is $10 and it's number 30 for that cream and sugar set. <coughs> oh, me. Sue wants that. Thank you, Sue. Thanks, Sue. I had not seen that one. You must have had it hidden, hidden away somewhere. Yeah, uh, there was the boxes underneath the table of our, our last okay. our last bits of inventory that I pulled out. 
Yeah, we really cleaned out the garage with odds, odds and ends that oh just my, really are not silver. It's like echoey in there. Yeah, it's empty. We need to buy another house. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> my time. Kat says, yay, Sue, I love that set. It is really unique. I have not seen a set like that before. Yeah, it is neat. Accordion wood hook. Yes, that one right there. Oh, okay. Do you want this to be off? Yes. So this, isn't this what uh, son-in-law made for? Yeah, Kat well, he made, he made it out of a wine rack and then cut it in half to make two of these. But this one is literally like a hook. It has the hangers on there and you can hang it on the wall? Yeah. And it pulls apart to whatever. And you can, yeah, you can make. It goes really long. It does. Whatever you like. That's the back you're showing. Right, there we go. Yeah. Well, I could see it. <laughs> Yeah, so I think you call this an accordion hook. Wood. So this is a wooden accordion hook, and it is $8, number 31. And there's screws holding each peg on. Yeah. Next up, we have a catalog. Um, this is my very last Army and Navy catalog. Oh, wow. This is from the house. Yes. The cover is loose. I think it's off. Yeah. And there is a little piece of it, but I'm not going to tape it because I know some people do not like tape on their ephemera. So I'm just going to send it along. <laughs> but so it there. is from 1979, 78 and 79. Expiring June 30th, 1979 is what the cover says. And oh. this is from Army and Navy. It still has your um, order form. Order form in there. So neat. And there's. It looks older than 79. I love it. Here, so cool. Up. I had so much fun going through those catalogs and just staring at all the pictures. Oh, there's baby stuff. Look at this lady's sweater right here. With that? the sailboats on it. Look at her cardigan with sailboats on it. And she's got a matching t-shirt. Yes. I would love to buy that for $4.50. That one's $5. Number... 32. That's your last Army and Navy? That's the last, last one. one. You've sold a lot of catalogs. Yes. Most of the, I think all of the other Army and Navy ones I sold on eBay. Okay. But this is the last one. So $5, number 32. It sure is dark to the north. Yeah, it is getting dark. Next up is a key wallet, one of two. We had another one of these, but this one has all the cool key rings on it. Mm -hmm. Or the, the rings, I guess, the keys on it. I wonder what they would all open up. Probably. I know. How many are there on there? There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, a dozen keys on there. This one says ANS tire on it. So it must have been for work. This key is cool. Mm -hmm. It's a hollow, a hollow key. It might be for a trunk. Trunk or a safe. And there's another one with some cool style to it. And the rest are the one of the brands is Slaymaker, but that's a lock. This one actually says, um, this one says Eaton's on it. Really? Yeah. It says Eaton's. There's a brand name on the back. So what would that open? I don't know. It says Eaton's. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Dominion lock. This one looks like it could be a lock for, uh, or a key for a, 
I just imagine a bank vault or a safety deposit box or yeah, something. That's what know. it looks like. Anyway, the whole set with a dozen keys and this snapped leather case. Yeah, you can put the keys in here like this. If they would all fit. Yeah. yeah. There at the back. That's been in a pocket a few times. That's right. <laughs> $7, number 46. That was also from the Watson House. Yes, and I've got more keys coming. Um, just individual keys, not in a key wallet, but they'll be coming in a live sale soon. Okay. Yeah, there's some cool keys we kept. We've sold a lot. We've just found a, just a ton of keys. I'm not sure if they were in the antique. Or where are they? The attic or in a buffet? Oh, we found them all over the place. Okay. What's this? Canadian, Canadian melting plate. plate. So this is just a small little plate. It's uh, the story those keys could tell. Agreed, Sue. Mm -hmm, yes, it is um, a vintage plate because it does not even have our all of our provinces on here and territories. Uh, it has the Mountie in the front there in the center and it's marked Japan on the back it's about four inches across I believe five five inches across ceramic and it's four dollars number 40 for that Another, I've seen some people I think I mentioned this before but they put ribbon mm -hmm. through those loops we're going to another catalog we're going to a mcleod 60s mcleods okay yeah that's Ooh. my bad rebecca's has some of these things stacked here and that it, would be my bad that would be your bad but i bumped them so one is the 60s and one is the 70s Together we're partners in crime. Uh huh. Partners in bad. <laughs> this the one? Um, sixties. Yep, that's right. Really cool. So this Thanks, is Wendy. a cloud catalog. Email. Oh, thank yeah. you. And it is from the year nineteen sixty-eight. Fall and winter, nineteen sixty-eight. Check with those the vacuum cleaners. I would love. To have this red coat right here on the cover. That I would love cool. to have that coat. Oh, the furniture. These are all in color. So neat. Chesterfield. Bedroom sets. Oh, but there's some black and whites. Okay. Ski poles. Uh, rifles. Order for Filters. <laughs> Brakes. Mirrors, oh yeah, the clouds points. sold everything, hey? Everything. There is so much. Even wagons, air compressors, grain augers, plumbing fixtures, furnaces, paint, wrenches. Even the ladies' old guitars. Style dryer. I saw guitars. guitars, sewing machines, absolutely everything from 1968. This one is $5 and it's number 33. Is your belly growling? I don't know. It's going to be the storm. Hopefully not. It's dark with there. Yes, it is dark. Uh, Princess House Etched Apple Dish. Yes. Right here. Oh, I, okay. I guess that makes sense. It's an app. Mm-hmm. This is made by Princess House, and it actually comes with its um, the Princess House pamphlet, hand blown. Princess this is House. Hand -blown. Um, I, I it says our hand blown home decor and sir serveware items are timeless. So yeah, I don't know. This might just be a catalog. But it says hand blown glass. It's a user and care guide from Princess House. It is etched. I looked this one up on eBay, and it's it's 
it calls it number 434, this apple trinket dish. And I believe that it's crystal. I won't, no, it's glass, hand-blown glass. Um, and there is the sticker on the bottom. Really pretty. I'll just give it a quick measure here. It is to the stem, it's about six inches and about four and a half inches across. So this, the apple princess house trinket dish or candy dish is $12 and it's number 24. And these are all in Canadian. That's right. Canadian dollars. So. All right. American friends get it for everything a little a little less. A little bit cheaper. Yep. Our dollar's not as strong. Blue glass handkerchief bowl. This reminds me of another one we had, but it was uh, kind of a glossy blue. Mm -hmm. This Gabriel, one. Gabriel, I'm driving. I'll be home soon, but I'm listening. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Gabby. Uh, so this is like a satin glass. This is a lot fancier. It is. Um, it's a handkerchief bowl. And it's got a little bit of rubbing on the bottom. So what would you call that when you... Well, I guess it's just rubbing some of the... Yeah, finish. so I, I guess... I don't know then if the glass is completely blue because where it's rubbed through, it looks kind of clear. But it's like that matte satiny glass. Um, there's no maker's mark on it. It's five inches tall and about four inches across at its widest. So what do you use these bowls for? Um, candle? Candy or candle, candy. yeah. $7, number 39. Jewelry. I love the way it tips up here. Jewelry by Denise. That's a lovely cabinet. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We have now two of them. We found one at our, on our local ad, um, classified. And we found another one similar, but has a different base to it. Yeah. Last Saturday, we did our live sale from that one <laughs> with in the background. It's in the basement. It's shorter. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it will house my Cabbage Patch collection. <laughs> but I need to get to it. Pottery bowl with frog. Does that mean like the flower frog? Mm -hmm. Another kind of reminds me of the handkerchief style. Yeah, except this one is the it's going down. So this, again, like the other piece, it's rough on the bottom mm -hmm. and shiny on the top. Yeah, uh, this is yeah. It's a really nice piece. It's glazed. I'm just nicely. gonna put the number in there right away. You betcha. Because it holds. It. It does hold it very nicely. <laughs> the wire flower frog is in there. $8, number 41 for this. It has like a, a tinge of green in the glaze as well. Mm -hmm. Quite nice. I'll just measure it. Sure. Um, about oh. four and three quarter square. $8, number 41. Hi, Hello, Rebecca. Rebecca Higgins. Welcome here. Next we have... Oh, the Huggers. The Where Huggers, did they go? Salt and Pepper Shakers. Oh, they're behind the milk glass there. Okay. Dee was just selling a pair of these on her sale. The same ones? Yeah. These are... Okay, what are they called? What do you call um, them? Huggers. They both have the corks in them. They're Van Briggle is um, the maker of them. And uh, they're they're very chunky pottery. These ones kind of have like that greenish glaze to them. And um, the copyright is on the bottom of the one of them. Right there. It's very, very faint, but it says copyright Van Briggle. And they have their cork stoppers. This one's shoved in there pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> this one's quite loose. Or could be easily popped up. Yeah. 
So these two cutie patooties, I believe they're bunnies. There we go. Yeah, they look kind of bunny-ish. Yeah, I think they're bunnies. It looks like Bunny they're... or squirrel? Um, I don't know. I think they're bunnies. Bunnies? Okay. Um, it looks like their tails paint is rubbed off, but no, that is the way they are painted. So um, okay. they're in good condition. Um, $10, number 52 for these little cuties. So how old would these be? 60s? Probably. They look in good shape. Yeah, no. they are. No chips on those ones? No. Rebecca would like those. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. Awesome. Thank you. So, what is a perpetual calendar? Um, the it's that wooden, the wooden calendar there. This is called a perpetual calendar. Yes, because you can do any month, any day. Um, and it just keeps going and going perpetual. So you could have. Yeah, I did. I had today's date on there. June 74. Yeah. So the blocks here are the numbers of the days. You can join her single one. Perfect. <laughs> Aww. So, yeah, these blocks have the numbers to do the days zero through nine. And these three blocks have the months. That's right. And you just flip them up. Four sides, three times four, 12. That's right. There we go. Two so blocks. So here, now it says June 72. <laughs> I guess you could do, oh, it says June 27th. But you could do like the year if you did it like this. Yeah, you don't want to change it all the time. Just do the, do the year. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you could just do for the month. Yeah. And it has, of course, it has the... Um, container. These have been sitting in my craft room for the longest time, but I need to empty out my craft room. So these are seven dollars, number fifty-three. Slide that right in there. There you go. So after this one, we'll do some puppies. Sure. Okay. Ceramic wall hanging under the teddy bears there. Now, this one looks like a bit, we've had this one before. Yes. I remember talking about made in Italy. I was going to say mm -hmm. Italian uh, wall decor, but it is, actually says made in Italy. Yep. And it has crazing. It's not for food use. It is only for decoration. It's just decorative <laughs> only on the back. It is seven inches by 10 inches high, and it does have the wire on it to hang on the wall. Here's your little copper. It's quite... Well, the back there it's shiny and this is turned dark really copper does. But it's a nice shape. If you're going with the, I guess the Italian or kind of a Spanish theme, the country which I often like. I really, I see some of these homes, um, they do, like on YouTube you can watch people's homes and that Spanish theme with uh, rounded doorways and that. I, I, mm -hmm. I really would love to have in terracotta. I know my sister and brother-in-law, they have a a vacation home and it has terracotta floors and they're getting excited to get them out of there. But <laughs> I think with the Spanish Mexican theme, it would look really cool. So this wall hanging is $6 and it's number 42. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but it's pottery. It's painted pottery. Right. The bot back is that mm -hmm. brown. Okay, one more. I just grabbed another one by accident oh, okay. here. So tapestry purse. This is the only purse I see. Is this yep, one? Yep, that's the one. This is so cute. Do you know how to open it? <laughs> nope. Mm. Turn it. Nope. Pull. Pull? One way you there pull you. it back. I'm not good at opening purse. This cute little tapestry purse. This one, it has like etched. Uh, clo the closure is etched. You can see that. And it pops closed just like so. And it's got the silver handle. The tapestry is really, really nice on it still. Yeah, it looks in really good shape. Yeah. It looks new. So 
super cute. I'll measure it here. It is seven inches wide. Six and a half and tall, with including the hook. Yeah, the hook. It's, a, it's about just the tapestry. It's five and a half. But this is how you open it at the top there. It's got the black kind of satiny lining. And this is... Twelve dollars, number thirty-five, and this is in Canadian dollars, so it's yeah. about, uh, I'll guess, ten American. Probably about ten. Okay, now we'll do these dogs. Okay, so these little doggies are called little snoozers. They are, they're called Sandcast, and they the artist's name is. Um, either car carved into each of the bottoms or printed. I've got nine here today. And only seven have their sleeping bags. Yes. So they're called Lil Snoozers. This little guy is... Um, the St. Bernard. The St. Bernard. Okay. Yep. This is the St. Bernard. So they are numbered. So you could collect them all. And they are all going to be $4, but this St. Bernard with the barrel is $4 and he's number one. So we're going to go through every one of them now. Yeah. So this one is number one for the yes. St. Bernard. St. Bernard, number one. $4. Next up is Slugger. That's this guy. He'll be number two. So you could use them like paperweights or or whatever you yeah. like. Thanks, Kat. It's nine ninety three. That's pretty close on the American mm -hmm. dollar. Next is the um, Basset Hound. Which would be the Basset Hound? Do you think it might be easier to just you pull them and I. You find them? Yeah. Okay, so I'll grab them, the first one here with some bag. So this little guy is a uh, frogger. Frogger. Now, I don't know why he's called frogger. Is that a is that a breed of dog? So this guy comes with his sleeping bag. No problem, cat. No problem, cat. Thank you very much, though. So he comes with his red little checkered sleeper sleeping bag. He is number nine. His he's Frogger Gray is what it says on the bottom of him. Maybe he's called Frogger because of the way he's sleeping, like he's got frog legs. I don't know. This little guy is uh, the S sixteen. It's called Dreamer, brown and white. Dreamer. Yep. So he's. I can see you fit into a... Oh, yeah, he's sleeping. Sleeping on his back. He looks right so there. cute in his in his sleeping bag. Looks like he's holding it open there. So cute. This one is number five. Nick's look like, looks like a wrinkled... It is a wrinkles. Wrinkles Red. Wrinkles Red is number six. I don't know how old these are. Well, they're, most of them are dated. They have a date on the bottom. 1987. So this one would be 13, 20. Well, that, that's pretty old, too. Mm -hmm. You vintage. Crazy. We older than that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> $4. This guy is Little Snoozer. Yeah, so that one. Yeah, that's all this one says on it. Uh, this one has uh, his bottom carved with this artist signature and signed on the bottom. So I believe it's Sandra. Yes, yeah, Sandra Brew. So this little guy is number seven. So they must all be eighties. Um, Thanks, Kat. 331 for American for the the little puppies. The Bassett, uh, Bassett Hound. Hound. 
1992. So this one is a little newer. Basset Hound is number three. And he comes with the sleeping bag. Rebecca would like seven. Thanks, Rebecca. Seven was... I'll let you hold that one up. Sure. Seven for Rebecca Higgins. Thank you. Number three for the Basset Hound. <coughs> Next up, we have Snuggles. It says Snuggles on here. Mm -hmm. It has 12, and here it says Little Snoozer. Yeah, I think that this is just the collection. Little okay. Snoozer is the collection. Okay. 1986. So this little guy is number eight. And he's got a flowery sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. Or she. He's got a bigger rear end. Hard to get him <laughs> in the sleeping bag. Need to put him in forward, I guess. There we go. And the final one is and they are made in the usa it's this this one this one is west highland white terrier yep 1988 and this one is number four the signature on the rear and then underneath the uh, stickers as well there's mm -hmm. a signature put him back in his little checkered sleeping bag his sleeping bag looks like that they're so cute. <laughs> is is it a cocker spaniel, the one with the big butt? Let me see. I don't know. What was his name? He is just it his was little just called snuggles. I can do a little close up for you. It looks like a cocker, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. There's the big butt. Oh, his tail is so cute. So Hi, Janice. One of those crazy days. Hi, Janice. I've been thinking about you. Thanks for coming in. You'll take it? Okay, Rebecca, thank you. Um, do you want to put in his number, which was for snuggle eight? Four dollars? Eight. For snuggle butt, do you say? I guess I did. <laughs> I guess I did. Snuggle And what are they called? Snuggle. Little snoozers. Little snoozers. I don't know. Must have been snuggle on there somewhere. Yeah. It's eight. Thank it's you, eight. Rebecca. Thanks, Rebecca. All right. That's it for the little um, puppies in their sleeping bags. Janice got home from vacation and had a box from Canada full of wonderful stuff. Oh. So you've been on vacation, good. Okay, I was worried, but yeah, vacation, that's a good thing. Yes, good. we all want one of those. <laughs> Next is one of, the, one of the few we have remaining of the ashtrays. It's really cool. It's from Kelowna, BC. Must have been in a souvenir shop. Mm -hmm. And I think this is where the cigarette goes. It's a Canadian maple leaf. Mm, I don't see a maker on here, though. No maker. Yeah. So it says Kelowna, BC. It's a pottery piece. And it is $5, number 14. Canadian ashtray, which you just don't see anymore. Mm-mm. I guess you could use it for anything. Oh, you could. You could have it on display. You can put snacks in there. Rings. And who knows? Like some of these ashtrays were quite decorative. They probably were never used for mm -hmm. as, as an ashtray. Say that past 10 times. No, thanks. Okay. Next, we oh, have the scissors. scissors. Yes. And these guys are sharp. I use them to cut my papers today. All right. Just so I could test them. You betcha. They are sharp as probably the day they were bought. Um, they are Griffin USA. And I believe these are like the seamstress seven inch ones. You can see that stamp there. It says Griffin USA. 
stainless steel scissors. I didn't clean them because I do not know how, but I'm just going to leave them like this. They are $4, number 36. So Janice, everything was in good condition. Sue would like those. Oh, Sue. Thanks, awesome. Sue. Did Janice have pottery in her box? I don't remember. Rebecca said, I'd like a dog that looked like a boxer, please. Hmm. The boxer dog. Everything was perfect. Great. Awesome. Okay. Rebecca has, spends a lot of time with her packaging. And uh, even with that, we've had a couple pieces damaged. She even uh, brought one home the other day and said, you know what? I'm going to read boxes because I just. No, I couldn't sleep. Uh, I've got to bring this back. I'm not sticking it in the mail like this. I'm putting it in a different box. Yep. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Where's the uh, other the puppies? Boxer. The boxer looking one. Okay. That is not a boxer. This guy's kind of cute though. It looks kind of, well, um, as you get older, everything starts hanging your cheeks. That's maybe like me. Oh, this guy? Let's see the one with the barrel. No, that's the barrel's oh. usually a St. Bernard. Okay. The boxer one would be. Maybe that one. Is this the boxer one you're looking for? Oh, here's some thunder. It's like Christmas cats is. Aww. <laughs> Rebecca spends a lot of time. And my dad's finding packaging supplies. Uh, online and picking them up for us. Oh, hey, Doug. Hi, Aaron and Charlotte. Yes, that's the one. Okay. How you feeling, Charlotte? Charlotte's our niece. She had surgery here yesterday. Yeah. Charlotte doing okay? And she must be if they're watching, unless uh, they went to visit her. Okay, so little slugger number, was please, number two. Oh, number, number two. Number Sorry. two, Rebecca. Number two. Well, Charlotte, I hope you're feeling well. Hope you're getting better. She said good with a big smile. Aww. Excellent. I've lost the number for this one. We'll we'll get them. Okay, is that the one you have over here that you handed me? We'll do them when we show them again. We'll just uh, okay. redo it the way we did. Oh, Wendy, thanks. Hope you heal and get well quickly, Charlotte. Aww. Thanks, Rebecca, for the number two there. That one's marked down for you. Yes. All right, next next up is a set of nesting, or it says nesting baskets. Mm -hmm. Yep, those ones right there. Oh, these are snake charmer baskets. No, don't say that. No. <laughs> you want to hear a funny story about our youngest boy? <laughs> he, uh, Rekka doesn't like snakes. I don't like snakes. But somehow our youngest boy, when he was, I don't know, Three years old, got two or three years old, got uh, wind of it that uh, Rebecca didn't like snakes. <laughs> so he would bug her. He would say, snake. Oh, brat. <laughs> so you could stack these like a yeah. snowman. Or they you... smell like sweet grass. They do? I don't know what kind of um, grass they're made out of, but they're woven. Three different sizes. The, the biggest one is eight inches across. The smaller or the middle one is five and a half. And the small one is uh, almost four inches. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of how big they are. I think they would just look really cool in a display, um, either nested or stacked. I think they're really cool. I am asking $10 for the set of them and they're number 10. And they stack one and the other. So for shipping, you mm. can use a smaller box because they yes. do stack. Nice. And yeah. look, all three are in there. Janice wants those. Thanks, Janice. 
Thank you. I'll set them over here. Actually, no, oh, you probably no. won't take them. I'll just give them to you. Next up, we have Mother Picture. Gabriel, okay, 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 back. Janice, not for snakes. Not okay. for snakes, that's right. Just nice things. Oh, hey, Gabby. So Jason found this. Okay, so last weekend when we were doing the garage sales. Jewelry by Denise just sent my registration info just in case I buy something. Sounds good. Thank you so much. And that's Denise, I take it. <laughs> last weekend when we were doing our garage sale, we had a couple of boxes of um, like pictures and picture frames that we had like people to like selling them to flip through. Cat says I love snakes too. Anyway, go ahead. You don't really, do you? Snake. No, 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 no to snakes. Anyway, <laughs> um, so he, we had sold quite a few of them already, and then he thought, I better look behind these picture I frames. I wish I would look through more. To see what was actually behind them. And lo and behold, this one, which has been repainted because. Oh, that's old. That's how you put the windows back in the 40s. You held the glass in for windows was with those little diamond tin. Wow. So this is probably a 40s. This uh, one has been repainted. There, you can see it on the back here. Um, so it's white and this like mint green. And there's actually paint, which you can scrape off on the glass. But he found this picture behind the picture that was in here. Cat likes snakes. She says, I grew up with a boa and a python. No, Cat. No, don't say those words to me. <laughs> oh. So the verse on here says, to mother, a blessed combination, a nation's true foundation, the one for whom we pray to be with us th through many years, as on this Mother's Day. And in the bottom corner, it says, Donald Art Company, Incorporated New York, made in the USA. Yeah. So, but not only did he find this behind a picture frame, he found four vintage cards behind. There's a Valentine's Day card? A Valentine's Day, a Mother's Day, like from the 50s. They were beautiful cards. A Christmas card was behind there. So now we're thinking, oh man, we should have looked through all of them, see what we see what we really sold. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this one. Rebecca, do I need to send my info again? I uh, no, no, I've got you, Rebecca. That's okay. I love all animals except roaches. Except roaches. I don't like hmm. roaches. I don't like spiders. No, to me, I don't know. I, a pet for sure needs to have either fur or feathers. <laughs> so this frame with this green reminds me of the uh, medicine chest we sold. Yeah. For some reason. Just that color of green, maybe. Yeah. But it's old. Five dollars, number forty-nine. Next up, we have a bird toothpick holder. Is that this guy? Yeah. It. I don't know if it's a toothpick holder, but it could be a, might little, be a little flower planter. pod, little little planter. It's. I could not feel one chip on this. And it's got that. Janice would like number 49. Number 49. Oh, Thanks, the Janice. mother picture. Thank you. Um, it's got that look of occupied Japan painting, doesn't it? I don't know it, for sure. It does kind of. Yeah, it has some leaves here on the whole sides. It's a nice, it's pretty, I don't know, 60s or 70s looking. It's in good shape. There's yeah. nothing on the bottom. Hey, cat, I see the owl through the window. Through cat's window. $5, number 50 for this little bird um, flower pot or toothpick holder. He's taking a good look at his, his tail. Yeah. Or behind him. He's admiring his tail. Cat would like that. Thanks, cat. All right. Thank you, cat. Even though you like snakes. 
<laughs> Janice is a close second. Next, we have a crystal flower brooch. Oh, yeah, this is in this one. Yes. I know absolutely nothing about this one, and I do not recall seeing this from the house. Mm -mm. Okay, so this, it's not stamped or anything, but it's got its tag, which I'm assuming is the original tag. It says... Gabriel, Chase and Rebecca, we have a great horned owl living up in a tree out back. Oh, Ooh, that'd be cool to see. Nice. I've seen an owl lamp that I'm regretting all the time that I didn't buy. Do you still think about it? I still think about them. I should have just bought them. Aww. I just would have kept them. Um, so this is Bavarian cut crystal and it says hand cut and hand polished. So it is, I, it looks like, it looks like an orchid to maybe not an orchid. What kind of flower is this? There we go. Yeah. Trumpet flower? Trumpet flower, maybe. That and might be a trumpet flower. It's it's got a lot of nice weight to it. The owl is on Gabby's Gabby's Insta and he is majestic. Oh, I'll, have Ooh, I'll have to look. So yeah, it's just a beautiful brooch and it's on this um this is how it's backed. Daffodil Genesis. Oh, maybe. It is just Rekha, so June bugs beautiful. are my nemesis. I'm glad they don't last long. So that now yeah. is June. Yeah. So this brooch is ten dollars. Number fifty-one. Bring the brooches Very back. Elegant. Bring the brooches back. Yeah. Next up, we have a ceramic squirrel. And this, I take it, is the one. Mm -hmm. He looks to be in really nice shape. No chips. No name on the bottom. He's hollow, but he looks really good shape and mm -hmm. looks good. This little guy is $4, number 12. See him with black painted eyes. Next is our set last McLeod's. Is the last one? Mm -hmm. Last McLeod's, 1978. Oh, Rebecca would like 12. Which one was that? The squirrel? Yes, the squirrel. Thank you. Gabriel was a close second. Thanks, Rebecca. 1978, so I was around when this catalog came out. I recognize some of the... Uh, Alarm clocks, Ooh. tape, cassette players. I've been very young, mind you. Not sure what I'd remember, but oh boy. <laughs> Look at the those. mustache. <laughs> Pretty awesome stuff in here. Hockey equipment, skates, saws, leads, socket sets, lights, chandeliers. Furnace motors, lamp for your for your farm or your acreage, sinks, toilet seats, everything, camping porta potties, huh? Air compressors. There's just absolutely everything in these catalogs. I wish McLeod's was still around. I'm just looking at it. You probably can't even see what I'm looking at. <laughs> this one is also five dollars, and it's number it's thirty. Stereos for your car. Whoa, fancy. Can I sent you a video of the hawk when you were to owl oh, flies off every night between eight three brief brief. So we sit outside and watch. <laughs> it's cool. Looks like the storm's kind of pushed to the north. That's that'd be good. Yeah, Could use some rain though. Star. Scuff coat wax. Uh that's the box. The, yeah. Just the box? Or the oh, oh. Ooh, oh and now it's getting windy. Just like that. This is a really cool. Yeah, this is really uh, scuff coat black, new easy on applicator, self shining liquid polish for children's shoes. Check out the Esquire. 
that's cute. I mean, look at this container. This was from the Watts. This is in the shoe polish box. Yep. There's the bottom of it. It's empty. Um, there's nothing left in here. It's just stained, probably. Can't open it. You know what it reminds me of <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite. When he's supposed to open the Tupperware lid, her husband, he's trying to sell this. To sell. Oh, yeah. Napoleon's uncle's selling Tupperware to the uh, lady. People, to the lady. And he's trying to prove how strong it is. And her husband can't even open the Tupperware lid. And she's like, <laughs> so this is six dollars for the box and the bottle and it's number 26 the scuff coat next up we have some goose canisters oh these don't they 80s 80s probably i was going to say they don't look vintage or they're vintage but not antique three stackable they're in pretty good shape they are really good shape so this um this tallest one is well with the lid it'll be six inches tall and four and a half inch diameter so that's Very what the biggest 80s. one yeah looks, looks like 80s so yes, the blue with the with the dots. They all have a different uh, duck theme. Or goose. Swan. Duck. I think it's a goose. Goose. Swan would have the black on it. Set of three. Yes. <laughs> How are we doing this here? They are ten dollars, number forty-five. And they stack as well, so shipping would not take that much room. Very easy, says Jewelry by Denise. There it is. $10, number 45. Kind of like a matte yeah. finish on there. Next, we have a small moose dish. Small moose dish. Oh, back there. This one? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's kind of like a Fair Trade Federation member, handmade in Kenya. So do they have moose in Africa? But that's a moose, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So handmade moose is, in Kenya. It's very Canadian. It is very Canadian, but they very well, very well may have moose. And so this is like ceramic? Um, pottery, I would pottery. imagine, and it's hand painted. Four dollars, number thirty-eight. It's just a really cute little trinket bowl mm -hmm. for your rings, or yeah, jewelry. it's little. Um, no moose in Africa. No moose in Africa. Yeah, I wonder why, because it says handmade in Kenya. Well, I guess if you're making it to sell in other countries, and you, yeah, that would be like us painting. Rebecca would like that painting a kangaroo. Thanks, Rebecca. Painting a kangaroo on mm -hmm. something and saying made in Canada. It's like this uh, gentleman that contractor that works for us sometimes. His wife does paintings and she's from British Columbia and she did very nice paintings of mountains and scenery pictures. And they sold well in BC. And she moved to our province with when, when they got married and they moved here. And she had to change her theme. She had to go with. Uh, flowers of Saskatchewan, like the, the, the lily or tulips. And now she sells these well. The mountain scenery didn't sell as well. Hmm. It's just interesting. Kind of what you know, hey? Kat says, I have a rhino dish similar to that made in Kenya. Okay. Well, there would be rhinos in Kenya. It is a nice little dish. Next is a travel oh, clock. Oh, yeah. I'll let you talk about this one. Well, it, I know it worked. I checked that it out. It's uh, pretty old, 70s, 60s. I don't, I'm not sure. But it's a little travel um, little travel clock you can take with. And it just stands like that, or you tuck it away. It looks like it uh, has glow-in-the-dark numbers. 
I would it imagine. Does, like that. Let me just crank it up. I'm not a knock. I know I'm not a clock expert, so I don't even know what I'm winding up here. Don't you have to wind it the other way? I don't know. I did try it out a long time ago. Oh, that is cranking the alarm. Oh, here's start and stop. There's your alarm. <laughs> and what do you there, hear? it's ticking. You can hear it clicking. Yeah. Where's the volume on? Where do you hear this? Where's the speaker on this thing? Uh, I here's actually a, don't know. Here's the, here's the camera. And I'm holding it wrong. But it is working. It. And I've seen these go for uh, quite a bit on eBay, but we have it for seven dollars number 47. can you hear it i wonder if they can hear it barn owls i have screech owls and barn owls and great janice owls owls here in my neighborhood thank you gabby i'm inviting myself to visit please come <laughs> i have room thanks janice You can hear it. Excellent. I'm wondering oh, how, much, how much volume it picks up. It picks up quite well. This this laptop has worked quite well for us. We'll drag Jenna along too. <laughs> okay, milk, milk, glass, cream, and sugar set. It's another set mm -hmm. that we have today. Are you selling the greenery with it? Uh, no. It's just for display. Yes. Okay. So you can use it for planting. Mm -hmm. Or sure. you can put a cream and sugar in there. Yes. So there is, well, that reminds me of those mugs. Yeah. Yeah. Even the style on the side kind of looks like the diamond old mugs, like the brown and yellow. So these are kind of like that translucent milk glass. They're in excellent shape. This, And I think this is diamond point. I'm not sure. Um, it's a really nice pattern though. For this uh, creamer and sugar is $6, number 54. We have ticking clocks in our house too that we can hear yeah. tick tocking. I hear clock ticking all day, every day at work. So yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan. No, I like hearing it. It just reminds me of I think all well, my parents did. Or... Oh, it looks like Haig and Rostern are getting it. Mm. So then it could be coming. Yeah. Cubist. Oh, that might be the Cubist pattern. Yeah, it could be. That could be. I'm going to have to step up for one second. I got him a message here. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep going. Yeah, no matter the weather, that's that's when he that's when his job calls. So the little Mexican bird was number 51, the brooch. Yes, ma'am. Ten dollars, number 51 for that brooch. Um, so next up, I've got this little Mexican bird. He's got one little chippy out of his tail there. So this is a little guy. He is about three inches wide or long, I should say, and two and three quarters high. He's painted really, really nicely. He stands nicely as well. Um, he's not signed, I don't think, but he's that, uh, that really nice, um, glaze, glazed Mexican pottery painted really nice. Just got that one chip out of there. So, um, I'm, I'm asking four for him because of that chip and he is number 11. 
And you would like the brooch, Denise? Okay, thank you. Um, just so that in case I have to watch the video back, can you just type 51 in? And Rebecca would like the birdie. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. And thank you, Rebecca. All right, what do we got next? The Hawaii Shakers. These are treasure craft. And they are on a base that says Hawaii. There is the barrel and the jug. So this is where the shaker portion is. And of course, the cork is here for the jug. And uh, this one has the stopper on the top and that's where the holes are. The base is where it says Treasure Craft. Treasure Craft USA, not sure if you can actually see that or not. There we go, Treasure Craft. And I don't think there's any flaws on this little set. I'll just check them over again. Treasure Craft has got that really lightweight kind of, kind of feel to it. So for this set, it is $6 and it's number 15. $6, number 15. Gabrielle has taken those. Thank you. So that was 15. Oh, Rebecca, yes, I did. Um, but I will just, um, I'll add it to this one because I'm invoicing. Let's see here. I'm invoicing every two weeks. So I will send yours out. Um, I'll, I'll redo that one is what I should say. And I'll add it to your order from last week's sale. Uh, the cow shakers. I'm picking all the shakers. Look at these little guys. <laughs> Aren't they cute? One has the eyes open and the other has the eyes closed. It's and they are made by gift craft got the sticker there and the japan stamp the backs are just plain on these but they're so cute you could either have them like this or like this very very cute and i don't think there's any damage on them they're in really good condition and five dollars number 16. Oh, they look cute like that too. <laughs> I love them. All right. Step in. All right. Show another Christine one. Taylor. And cats is 16. Oh, hey, Christina. Hi, Cat Christine. wants the cows. All right. What was 15? I missed out on that one. 15 was the... Hawaii Shakers. Yeah. And what was 51? 51 was the um, brooch. Okay. Yeah. Jewelry by Denise is getting the brooch. Excellent. And Kat is getting the moose. Yeah. We, we're not, we can't really travel over the border yet, but I found myself looking at some Hawaiian vacation. <laughs> For next we year. love Hawaii. All right. Next up is a hand knit book. Yes. I'll let you chat about that one. I've That's got, pretty old. Yes. I've got quite a um, collection of these. 
This is the one that I pulled for today. It is, look at her, like she's even knitting in heels. My goodness. Look at her hair. So this is Monarch Gift Book, hand knit. So you could make gifts, hand knit gifts of all kinds. Socks. 25 cents for the book. Yeah. Slippers. In a year? Um, I haven't checked. I've been finding it hard to find the year in these kinds of books. Here. Oh. Copyright 1947. Oh, my goodness. Copyright 1947. Right. Gabriel's his 40s. There. Ooh. Almost recognize it. Yes. Look Got at that lusciousness. Ken, Kate, and Dom say hi now. Hey. Oh, hi. Ken, Kate, and Dom. How are you doing? Glad to hear Charlotte's well. Hey, Kent, you want to take up a hobby? You can buy this knit book. <laughs> Kent is my youngest brother. It's only $3, and it's number 56. It's just following the storm is kind of partially my responsibility here. So yeah. I'm just trying to follow that too at the same time. And it's gone further north. All right. Next one. Colorful pottery, shade and base. Oh, Janice wants the knit book. Kent, you lost out. Yeah. You snooze, you lose. Janice gets sign up, the Kent. knit book. Thank you, Janice. All right. Shade and base. Which one is that? Oh, this one. So this again, is this a garlic keeper or a tea light? I would use it as a candle holder. I, I don't know how you keep garlic. I keep my garlic in the fridge. I don't so know. So it's again, like it's a pottery fairy lamp. Not like the nice glass ones, but these are like pottery. It is amazingly painted. It's painted very well. Yes. Even the base looks like a flower. Look at that. And there is no artist's no. signature on the bottom. It's like glossy glaze on it, though. Very, very colorful. Um, this one is $10, $10. Number 18. I'll do a quick measurement. Sure. Um, about five inches. The base, too, is about five inches. That was not from the from the house. No. Didn't recognize that one. Next up, we have a green book. Child Horizons. These must have been school books. It's in very good condition. You found these, huh? Right. I found those. These. These. I found these? Yeah, you did. Oh, you remember right. Now? now I do. Yeah. 1964. They're in really good shape. 18. Oh, 18, Janice. You want that one. Oh, it's a beautiful piece. Thanks, Janice. Thank you. Here's a message to parents. How important it is. How important is a good book for your child? And there's some stories in there. It's just in really, really good shape. Yeah. It's Our hard. daughter, Eloise, she, our granddaughter, Eloise, she would... She would listen to these stories. Yeah. Oh, and and just look at the pictures and ask question upon question. She's uh, almost four. She's four in July. And she just has questions about everything. And she remembers everything. Yes, she has a great memory. $4, number 19. Creative Stories, Standard Education Society Incorporated. I'll just tuck that inside here. Okay. Gabriel would like that. Thanks, oh, Gabriel. Thank you. Uh, did I tell you? Oh, I next up is the orange book. Okay. I finally. Christina says she's absolutely. Oh, adorable. yeah. I was just going to say um, thank you, Christina. I finally got around to uploading my haul video with Eloise. Okay. So, yeah. 
Yeah, that was a while back. That was a while back. It was in May. We have another book similar, uh, The Story Hour, Standard Education Society Incorporated. And it's, uh, again, filled with stories. This one's orange. Um, probably the same year, 1964, compiled by Esther M. Boland. Again. Oh, Gabby, she said she needs a pair of books. <laughs> Did the wall hanging wooden thing you sell? No, it didn't. No, it didn't, Christina. Um, I'll give this number first, and then I'll get that one out. Four dollars, number 20. Look, there's moose. Yeah. Or like that comedian says, a flock of moose. And flock of moose. And, um, I love moose. I don't know why they remind me. Gabriel, Gibson. thank you, Gabriel. Um, they remind me of teenage boys because you know when they they're growing into their you know their nose grows faster than everything else and they're gangly and <laughs> they have to grow into their legs. But this one was um, eight dollars, number thirty-one. For the yeah, we'll run through the items again yeah. uh, at the end. Of yeah. And there is a little bit, if this could probably be scratched off, I could probably do it. There is just a little bit either of uh, paint or plaster here. Just so you yes. know that. Christina would like that you one. You like that one? Okay. Thanks, Christina. Christina lives in the next province over. Which way? West or? Manitoba. Okay. East. Pretty soon, or they say, what, July, they're talking, everyone gets the back, or 70% get vaccinated, then we can open borders, or, open, or no, no mass anyway, or borders, I don't know. I imagine borders would open up then as well. And we can think of traveling again. Is this your France signed mermaid ring dish? Yes, I think it's signed. Um... Cat, let's go to Canada when they let us in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's all go thrifting together. We'll meet you at the border. We're going to go south. <laughs> yeah, we're going to trade. <laughs> I want to go thrift in the state sale there. So I don't know if this is a mermaid. I looked it this It looks up. very mermaid-ish. Uh, very risky. It does. It's very risky. Um, and I could only find one like this with a clipper ship on it. So I don't know if there was like a nautical series in these kind of sure. ring dishes. Sharon C. Rebecca and James Ben Chasen had a Jehovah's Witness come to the door and they would never wouldn't leave till now. They are still in the yard. <gasps> oh my goodness. I guess you just well, what do you say? Wow. Guess they had to get their visitations in, hey? Huh. No comment. <laughs> Made in France. Yes, and it is signed. It is signed there. Um, what is it called? Lalique. Lalique, France. So it is signed. And this is um reverse etched, this here. Oh yeah. So it is it's quite a nice piece. And they were calling it a ring or trinket dish. Uh, this one is $12, number 22. That's the back side. Yeah. Of the frosted lady with no clothes on. <laughs> or very tight clothes. Okay. That's really, really tight. That's very tight clothes, yes. Uh, Kat would like that one. Cat. All right. And Gabriel, but Cat was the first. Okay. Thanks, Cat. And Christina. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel says, cat. Well, we have another France dish coming up. And oh, this is yes. the duck dish. So, Gabriel, Gabriel, maybe it's how she wants to pronounce it. I'm not sure. I have an aunt Gabriel. So, yes. I say Gabriel, but maybe she likes Gabriel. Cat. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah, I felt kind of guilty just feeling the back of the etched piece on that piece there. 
I didn't make you touch it. I didn't. So this is a duck. <laughs> and it's made in France, Rebecca says. Uh, yes, it is. Oh, I just showed you the number. Um, <laughs> it is uh, Christelle de RK France. I don't know French. Um, it's just a duck trinket dish. Uh, I don't believe that's crystal, but I won't say that for sure. It $10. is very good quality glass anyway. It's in good condition. I don't feel anything wrong with it. Here, I'll pull my hand off the, try and hold it with one hand so you can see it. I believe it's a mallard duck. The etching on there is, is it does really look nice. like a mallard duck. Yeah. Even the lid displayed the alone would be nice. The eyes are actually just, you, they're rounded in there. It does it look like a mallard? Yeah. Number 23, $10. And since we're on the duck theme here, oh, there you go. We're going to go right into the wicker duck from glass to wicker. Yeah. So this, uh, this is, I believe this is a duck as well. Just a wicker duck. He has a wooden beak. Uh, this one is going to be three dollars, and it's number fifty-five. Next, we haven't. Speaking of owls, here is an etched owl. Yeah, this is another reverse etched uh, paperweight, I believe, is what this is. Um, there is no. It's not signed. I don't know who made Usually it. Usually would have a sticker on these. Yeah. Here's the back side of it. But this one is $5 and it's number 21. You can touch this one all you want. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Here. You want to touch the owl? Oh. oh. Jason. <laughs> uh cat would like 21. Cat wants 21. Okay, thank you. Next we have a pottery mug. Is this the one? Yeah. So Rebecca's just showing you can put something in there. Yes? Yeah. Okay. You don't just have to drink out of it. This is what I believe would be Mexican pottery, right? I it looks very Mexican to me. Uh, Spanish, anyway. I don't know. Blind by beauty. Hey, Brittany, how are you? Uh, yeah. So this one is really unique. It um, it's it's got like the rough feel to it, but the indented portion here, which I believe is an olive, is glazed and it's indented. Uh, the handle is applied. Yeah, you can feel that. You can feel the olive. <laughs> and look at the inside. Isn't Spiral. that cool? And I don't think that is made by um, stirring your coffee. I think that's probably. That's, yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice pottery mug. We're good. We're good. Thank you. $5, number 44. So Brittany is... Blind by Beauty. Blind by Beauty. BBB, Better Business Bureau. <laughs> or Blind by Beauty. Or by, Blind by Beauty. <laughs> Five dollars, number 44. And next we have a glass. Penguin. Penguin paperweight. That's Is that milk glass? No, I think this is just white glass. Finally, just getting some rain here. Sun shower for the heat wave. Oh, yeah, that feels so good then, doesn't it? Oh, and it smells so good when you it walk does. outside. We need some. Yeah. We're we're under a, a severe thunderstorm watch right now. Yeah. To the north, they received rain. Um, but and a small amount of hail, but nothing bad. So this is a white glass penguin. Okay, he's got his flippers, his applied flippers, his eyes. I think we've had this one on. Before. Yes, we have. Um, there's nothing wrong with him. He's got a little indent in his eyes. It Can looks like out. there would have been a sticker, but I do not know. 
maybe one of you could tell me what sticker that might have been. I would enjoy these thunderstorms more if I didn't have to go out and take care of it after. Yeah. For me, a watch and warning that always, I used to love the weather was very enjoyable, but $5, number 13. We had some thunder and lightning the other, other night and a little bit of rain. So mm -hmm. yeah, that was, that was very enjoyable. That was, yeah. During the nights, we had the window cracked open a little bit there. And Uh, this is it's heavy too oh, okay just so gabrielle 13 Chris, followed by christina okay thank you gabby nice susical susical oh hey suzanne, suzanne how are you hi suzanne she's another one of our neighbors to the east okay yeah do we have any neighbors to the west on the on the uh, well, Valentina. Valentina, right. I don't think Valentina's here today, though. Okay. Next, we have some really cool old shoe polish tins. There's two of them. There's no longer polish in them. This one has no writing on the back. I'm not sure if there's a date. Made in Canada. No date. I can turn one of these open. There's no longer, there's a little bit of evidence of shoe polish, but that's about it. One's the Nugget Wax Shoe Polish, and the other one is Quick. Oh, this one still has a piece of cloth. Oh, my. That's from a, well, they used to polish. Yeah. It's a rag. That can go with. $5 for these two tins. And they are number five, Oops. or number 25, sorry. Number 25. For the two tins, five dollars for both. Next up, we have a tobacco tin, and we do have a couple more of these. But we're bringing one on here tonight to see if there's any interest. Um, this is benefit of my father, who was sourcing for us. He was sourcing for us. Yep. Hey, Lynn. Hi, Hi Lynn. Lynn. Hi, D. Welcome. So this is the Vogue tobacco tin. Um, some of them still have the sticker on. There's not much left of that one where they sealed the top. Screw top tobacco tins. I've used some of these from the 70s for nails and screws. But yeah. We, so yeah, we have several of these, but uh, we'll try one tonight to see if there's any interest in it. And they're $5, number 48. Or this, it is five dollars. Number forty-eight. Jacqueline, hello. I'm here, but quiet. Oh, hey, Jackie. Yeah, you Jacqueline. could put them on. Uh, you could use them as a container, or you could just use them for display. Yeah, the graphics are cool. Gabrielle would like that one. All right, thank you. Did Gabrielle pick up something else you could put in the tin? Oh, I'm sure we can. Can make use of that room. Yeah, I'm sure we can. Um, number forty-eight. I just checking out the weather, peeking to the north once in a while, and so far we there's some raindrops, but that's about it. Yeah. Thanks, Gabrielle, the, for the tin, and we'll we'll bring another tin in sometime, and yeah, if there's more interest. Lynn's this and that. How's everyone? Pretty hot and humid. Oh, here. it's hot and humid in Ontario too. Hey, um, our hottest day this week was. But not humid here. Wednesday. No, it's not really humid because it's been so dry. Gabrielle, no drops ever here. Well, hopefully you get some rain, mm. Gabrielle. Suzanne, hot, hot, hot here these last two days. Storm watch in effect here. Oh, yeah. Okay. And Suzanne is from? Uh, okay. She's in Manitoba. Manitoba? Okay. Um, Lynn is in Ontario. Okay. Yeah, we, we were under a heat warning in the middle of the week. It's mm -hmm. so crazy because last week we still had frost overnight. Winnipeg kicking our bottoms, but also <laughs> in Iowa it hit ninety five. Oof, ninety five. So we are at thirty. Feels like fifty five. We were at thirty six. I don't know what it felt like, but it, it, the humidity wasn't very high though. So these are little redware. Thirty six Celsius, as Lynn's mentions. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's Celsius, hot. Celsius, yeah. Yep. 
Uh, these are little redware shakers. Um, parts of them are glazed, which makes them super adorable. Their eyes are, their eyes are, and I think they're bow ties and maybe they're little toenails, if I'm not mistaken. They're, oh, yeah. they're just so cute. They've got the gift craft sticker on them, which I think they're, I think they're old. Uh, these There's little no year or anything on them. Oh. These little guys are five dollars, and they're number seventeen. And they're from Japan. Yeah, they're made in Japan. Five dollars, number seventeen for the mom and papa bear. Next up. Ooh, this butter dish. It's a butter dish. White butter dish with a bow tie. Yeah, so it looks like a present. This one is made by number 10 Strawberry Street. And this is just a butter dish. But the lid looks like it's a present, complete with a bow. It's in great condition. That's not like milkware or anything. It's mm, just white. No, it's just it's not milk glass. No, just ceramic. Number 43, $5. And the last item for tonight, we can run through the other items again if anybody's interested. Yeah. The last item is the shoe protectors. Now, these were in that shoe kit, and they're really cool. Yeah. They're, they're in this bag, which is vintage in itself. It's a line. <laughs> yep. I, I'm going to leave them in there. The line. You can see the lines in the bag. Number 43 for D. That is the butter dish. Oh, awesome. Thank you, D. So, Look at this. Yeah, this is so cool. You nail these on to your shoe to make them last longer, I suppose. Wouldn't that be so uncomfortable? You would have like one. Well, it would click. Yeah, you would have, you'd have one heel clicking and one sole clicking. That would be so weird. Here's another different size these are kind of the same size it looks like wet the leather before fixing made in england i'm going to reach into here here is just a description of it looks like there's maybe not attached yeah, there is some in the bottom of the bag uh yeah there would have been some on there here you're gonna grab that I just wanted and to... then the bottom of the bag has a has whole bunch of bigger ones yeah Rusty used ones. And nails. And there is a bunch of old nails that they must have put into the shoe. So this whole bag is $6, number 27 for the bag. What's in the bag, the rest of the used ones, and the new ones on, in the package. Gabrielle would like that. Thanks, right. Gabrielle. Thank you. All right, should we run through what is remaining and hasn't sold? We can do that. Oh, there's some gusts. And some thunder. Oh, that was thunder too. Well, maybe we'll get, let's see, we're gonna get a tiny bit of rain according to our radar. I'm just watching on my phone <clears throat> what's rolling through here. I can't really tell on the screen. But. There is. Yes, you would like us to go through what didn't sell? Okay. Well, Certainly let's, can. Let's All do right. it. We still have power, so let's, yes. let's roll. Let's. Okay. So I've got this perpetual calendar made out of wood. The blocks are for the numbers, and there's three... So jealous, Gabrielle. Thunder, yeah. Three strips here that have the months on. Oh, and I just, oh, <laughs> I just dropped one of the blocks on the laptop. We're still here, we're all good. $7, number 53. Nothing broken, they're, they're wood, <laughs> they're not heavy glass. Um, so we've got this key wallet with old 
keys on it, all kinds of keys. It might unlock a who knows money box. Unlock. Look at this one. A safe. Neat. Or you can just have them on. As, and on oh, display. look at yeah. the wallet. Yeah. That so was definitely snap. used. Yeah, that was used a lot. Still in really good shape, though. But there's so many keys in there. There's a dozen keys. I'm not sure if we can snap that guy closed. If I hang them out, then I can. Are Suzanne and Christina going for coffee? There we go. Seven dollars, number forty-six. I don't want to post info on YouTube. Okay. If someone wants to email, you want. No, uh... so they're going to share information. Okay. Get the yeah. Email from. Mama. Yes. Okay. You got um, that dust on your nose. Here, let's do this. A little canister set. Okay. This is a little. Uh, Goose or duck canister set. There's three pieces, ten dollars, number forty-five. <laughs> Gabby says, "Don't worry, we're all, they're all coming Never here." Fear. We're okay. all coming. <laughs> One, two, and three. These aren't as old as the other pair we sold, but no. these are in a lot better shape. Yeah. Very eighties. These are ten dollars, and they are number forty-five. And they're really good shape. Yes, could you pass that email to Christina? We're getting rid. A little bit of rain. Come join when you travel. <laughs> okay, yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> All right. Then we have this uh, like satin glass kind of handkerchief bowl. There is some wear on the bottom. We had a dark blue glass. Yeah, bowl that one went that. to Gina. That went to Gina? Okay. Yeah. Um, this one, I, I really like the the way it's come, the way they the tucked it in. The lady ducks are coming back. Antique Nomad Yes, said. they are. Lynn's this and that. I was on Saskatoon 10 years ago, so I'm due to be there again in five years. Let's plan. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, that one is $7, number 39. Um, ooh, we've got the tapestry purse. This didn't sell. I can hardly take. Okay, this beautiful tapestry little clutch. Well, it does have the chain. Um, opens just like so. Number 35. It's like new condition, that one. It is. It's beautiful. Oh, Christina would like that. Christina wants that? How do oh, you right. open that so quick? You just pull it one way. Oh, okay. I'll learn how to open the lady's purse. 35. Christina. I'll put the tag, tag in there. Okay. Um, I'll let you show that. Sure. This is the Mexican pottery um, mug. Now, from what I understand, from what Rebecca tells me, there's it's collectible and people like to use it for display. Nice if you have a Spanish themed home or a cabin, or I guess you could even use it. Absolutely. It's a really cool inside piece. It is glazed on the inside. So Signed on the bottom. Definitely hold liquid. And it's only $5, number 44. So it'd be about $4 and change American. It is raining here now. It is raining. Yeah. So I was going to water this evening. I don't have to water. So we've got a few of the little snoozers left. I'll let you show this guy while sure. I get the other one ready. We have a few of these left. They're four dollars a piece. This one's number six. It's a little puppy in a with a blanket. Signature is brew on the rump, and his little snoozers is S twenty seven wrinkles red. That's his name. I guess they were collectible, and they're into this one's 1987 so we have mostly 80s and a couple of 90s gabrielle's jealous the can you and hear it can you hear it thundering it's thundering too and it's the radar just shows a nice little shower number six four dollars and there's the 
this little guy. This little guy too, four dollars number five. That's his little sleeping bag. This one is 1986 and his dreamer brown and white. So he just kind of sits right in there. He's like, it reminds me of like a stocking or Christmas stocking. Four dollars, number five. Next one is a West Highland White Terrier, 1988. And there's a made in USA, and they probably all are. He's got kind of the Scottish themed pattern of the Wendy Melton with like number five. That's this. Number five. That's the sleepy. Oh, right. he was one of my favorites. Gabrielle, my face is raining. Wish it would be. I wish it would rain. I hear the, you, you hear the thunder. Nice. On YouTube, I just rain. So I pretend. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it wouldn't be nice for those just waiting for rain if you could ever all get some. That was Wendy Melton, oh, correct? Did I did this one already. I, think, I did this one already. Number four. That was Wend Wendy Melton. Yep. Okay. Four dollars, number four. This one is 1988 and Frogger and Gray. I think he, I think she named it Frogger because of his hind legs, the That's way he's sleeping. Plaid, kind of like the Scotch flavor, lifesavers. <laughs> Rain dance may be required, Gabby. That's <laughs> uh, Suzanne. Tuck him into here. Number nine, four dollars. This little cutie this is, is a, a basset hound. Basset hound, nineteen ninety-two. He's number three. Another plaid sleeping yeah. bag. Did it, Sus? Sus, called no dice. <laughs> <laughs> no worky, hey. And this uh, this last little guy does not come with a sleeping bag. He is marked Saint Bernard. Number he's one. Got a barrel, and he's number one. We get a thick marine layer. But that's it. No sleeping bag, but he has a barrel. Yeah, number one. All right, let's go through these catalogs here. We've got uh, 1978 these Fall and Winter McLeod's catalog. Cool oh, catalogs. Very. Yes. Need to look through. Go step back in time. So Except cool. McLeod's card, a Visa, or MasterCard. Oh, my Three clouds. convenient credit plans for you. <laughs> that uh, Pyrex dishware reminds me of my. Oh, my yeah. Mom. Look, butterfly gold. Green. Butterfly gold. My dad had a jack like that. Oh, yes. Nine. I will take him. Okay. Number nine. Thanks, Suzanne. Which was number nine? Number nine was Frogger. Frogger, the gray guy. That was. He was number nine. Musical? Wish there was a pug or a chihuahua. Yeah, we didn't. Don't have any of those. Yeah. My sister-in-law took the lab. She has two lab puppies. Yeah. Thanks, Suzanne. Did you show the number on this I, one? I did. Number yes. thirty-four, five dollars. And then we have a McLeod's Fall and Winter '68 catalog. So this, Ten years older. This is also five dollars. Number thirty-three, and just some of the pictures in this one. Step back in time. Mm -hmm. Beyond my time. Well, that. My nephew wants a dog bad, but sis says not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've never had a puppy. I did when I was a boy, but we've never given our kids a dog. We've had uh, several cats. Yeah. Because Rebecca likes kitties. I love kitties, yes. Um, so he gets a sleeping bad dog. A, a sleeping bag dog? Sleeping Aww, bag dog. okay. I said bad. <laughs> Sleeping bag dog. <laughs> so we've got an Army and Navy dog. catalog. This one is from 1978 and 79. And it looks older, doesn't it? 
It does, like probably reason. just because of the colored graphics. It's not photographed. The cover is loose, but the spine is stapled. Five dollars, number 32. It's got the order form in there still. And I'll just tuck that in there. Okay. That's it for the catalogs? Yes. This Kelowna ashtray. Pretty cool old ashtray. Yeah, it's like yellow with brown sponge on it. It does say Kelowna BC in the center there, even though you can't see it. You go just like this. Oh, okay. This one is $5, number 14. We've got the glass duck trinket dish. This one is $10, number 23. That was made in France? Yeah, this is France made. It's got the lid. Very detailed duck. I believe that it's a mallard. It's pretty. And we've got the scuff coat wax with the box and the bottle inside. The top, the one piece from the lid is off, but it does have the two side flaps. The graphics on the box are so awesome. Mm -hmm. The bottle is so awesome. I like the bottle. Yeah. And this is the bottle. And the graphics are cool. That's just a really cool bottle. Yeah. So $6, number 26 for that. And we've got the little souvenir plate, Canadian souvenir plate, $4, number 40. This one is five inches diameter. Made in Japan, that it one? Is made, in, made in Japan. Troll of Thrift, 26. 26. Is that the bottle? Oh, it is. Awesome. Okay. Let's Thank you, Dee. Thanks, Dee. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'll forget that. That's a really cool bottle and package. This. This is a, now some of you said a garlic. Some people said it might be a garlic keeper. I don't know. It's pottery. It's pottery. You can use it as a tea light. Initials GF, it looks like. So you could have a tea light in there at night, shining lights through the holes. Or a garlic keeper, as someone mentioned. Now you've got a storm, Suzanne? Gabrielle's going to want that. Oh, Maria. Hi, Maria. Hi, Maria. Hi, Cindy. Cindy is, is Mimi's treasure cottage. Hi, Cindy. Maria would like that one. Thank you, Maria. Are you going to use it as a candle holder? Mimi's treasure cottage. So what is she? She's got everything cottage related or? Um, no, just like us. She's it's a... hard to find vintage. Ch Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas for sure. Hmm. Loud thunder and lightning. Ah. And where was Suzanne? Manitoba. Manitoba. Okay. Going across the prairie <laughs> provinces. Storms everywhere right here in yeah, California. Sorry, sorry Gabrielle. <laughs> oh, you're going to use it in your garden. Awesome. Yes. Mimi is uh, Mimi's an treasure cottage. She does have another channel. She's uh, she's an artist as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's do the shoe polishes. I'll let you do this. Sure. This I'm not sure if any brushes are not left, but these are a couple of cool tins. Um, these were in the shoe polish kit, which was in the attic of the old house. So I don't know a year. Could be 40s, 50s, 60s. Don't know. A couple of cool old tins. I look like this one is probably older. This one has a bit of writing on the back. But no year. $5. Treasures are in the cottage. Hmm.
and then we've got this uh, Portugal, no, Italy, Italian wall hanging. It's made out of pottery. It is stamped, and it is, I would believe, that's hand painted. So was it crazed from new? Do you think, or did it just over time? I don't. It looks pretty even. It does look. Do you think that crazing it's is been, deliberate? It's been hanging for a while. I don't know. What's the stamp? So if you have a Spanish style or Italian style, it would look really cool hanging on. But the it wall. is crazed on the back too. But you cannot use it as a real cutting board. It says it on the back. That's right. Hey, Rihanna. Hi. Uh, this is a princess house glass apple shaped dish. It does come with some of the princess house literature. This is the dish. It's etched. Christina would like 42. Oh, oh thanks, okay, Christina. Thank you. So this is uh, the sticker on the bottom made exclusively for princess house. Just wanted to make sure I didn't stew up. <laughs> the thrill of the dream. Autocorrect. Stew up. <laughs> uh, and then the lid has the apple stem on it. So this uh, princess house apple candy dish. $12, number 24. I'm going to get Christina down for 42 before I forget. Okay, I'll set this one aside. Oh, wait a minute. D got, D, I sold D, wait a minute. Nope, I got that wrong. Okay, never mind. Just ignore me. Okay. I wondered what stew up meant. Well, you know, different places, different sayings. So I guess if you get could stew something up, it'd be kind of similar and yeah. that's screwing things up. Milk glass, um, creamer and sugar dish. Mm -hmm. Kind of the diamond etching. It reminds me very much of the mugs that, I mean, they must be the same era, the ones that are brown and yellow. Those vintage mugs that are selling. Fire the, King ones. Fire King. Yeah. Yeah. The Kimberly Are ones. these Fire King? I have no idea. I wonder. So these are $6, number 54. They're in good shape. It's so humid, Suzanne says. So we've got the wicker duck basket with the wooden bill. Three dollars. Mr. L, Randy in the house. Hey, Randy. Hey, Randy. The number 54 was, that was the milk glass, and right? would like number 54. Thank Randy you. Would. Thanks, Randy. Have you shipped my planters? Yes, I did. Yeah. Decor and more. Who's decor? Oh, more? no, I didn't. Decor and more. Um, yeah, I've got them. No, they're they're. Uh, I'm shipping every two weeks, so no, I haven't shipped your planters yet. So I would add. I would either make the invoice this coming week, and I can add any any more purchases to that box. Thank this you, Randy. Okay. Pretty sure I emailed my info a while back. I think you did too. Okay, awesome. Thank you. All right, fifty-four. My autocorrect. Has me saying ridiculous things sometimes. Yeah, me too. Well, you read it, but it's too late. It's already sent. All right. Got two pieces here. Two more things. Um, so we've got the little Redware Salt and Shaker Bears. Gift Craft is what the sticker it is on them. shine on some spots. And yes. And the other. They do have shiny glaze on certain parts of them. And those two are five dollars. Number seventeen for that salt and pepper. They're really good shape. Yeah. With the plugs in them, so mm -hmm. you can use them. And five dollars seventeen. Surgery lady, I'm up here. Yeah, D is getting surgery on her shoulder. Her rotator cup is busted. Oh. Or worn out. I'm not sure how how you would say that. Decor and more. Decor and more number seventeen. Worn out, not not busted like an accident. 
type of thing. It's just I, no, no. Thanks, I don't think Moore. so anyway. Unless it I'm was sorry, from what an was Moore's name? Helen. Helen. Is that right? Jason, don't, don't look. look. What? <laughs> yes, it is Helen. Helen. Oh, Thanks, Helen. Right. Thank you. Jason, don't look. You keep that showing me. <laughs> and that pottery planter is. And this is the last one we're running through again. Mm -hmm. So this is a, I guess you call it a flower frog and yeah. a piece of ceramic ware rotators. Um, the bottom is has no glaze on it, and the top does, and just some different colors on it. Shows up actually quite well on the screen. Yep. You can display your paper ephemera in there. Ephemera in there. Some vintage piece that you might have bought from Rebecca's sale. You sold lots of it. Yes. And that's eight dollars number forty one. That is it. That is all. If you like anything you've seen or you're thinking about it, you can just check out the channel later on and put the number in. That's new, or did you decide that was what is going in? Some of the surgeries, like uh, our niece Charlotte was delayed, um, probably due to some of the COVID stuff going on. Yeah. But actually not too much later, and she was able to have it, so that's great. Yeah, I think it was maybe a week or two later. Yeah. I know Jane entered that sale. Thanks, Gabrielle. Have a good night, uh, everybody. Hopefully you get some rain. Yeah. Uh, we got a little shower. I don't know about bother watering tonight. It's not a lot of rain, but some. I have to leave now, even though I know you're at the you're end. At the end. Have a great Thanks, Wendy. Thank Appreciate you, Wendy. Support. So just decided to fix it. That's have the, you been on the waiting list for surgery for two years, Dee? It'd be a long time. Oh, just decided to fix it. Just okay. decided to fix it. Amy's trousers. <laughs> I pull my finger. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wouldn't be able to hear it, I guess. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Right. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank you so much for coming in and for supporting us. And, and we kept power throughout the storm at World North, so uh -huh. we're okay. Yep. Tired of cortisone shots, mm. so okay. Well, all the best with that. Yes, that's coming up here. I think she said at the end of June or beginning of July. Okay, so we may see you again before that. Yep. All right, take care. Okay. Have a good night. Stay safe. Yes, stay. And get some rain if you need. Stay safe wherever you are. Thanks all for coming in. We'll talk to you throughout the week at sales. Bye-bye, everybody.